And this is a Durabrand CR502 clock radio. It's pretty standard, very basic model. One thing you're going to notice about this, it's kind of important when picking a clock radio. There's no battery. There's no place to put a battery on this. What this means, um, when a, an alarm clock doesn't have a battery, typically they'll use an internal capacitor to save the time should the power dip like this. All right, for a second or two, and then it'll save the time. The problem with the capacitors, however, they don't save the time for very long. So let's leave it off for a longer count, 10, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And when you bring it back on, you lose the time. So uh, a clock without a battery is only good for saving your settings for, you know, a few seconds. A uh, clock radio like this could be dangerous. Suppose you have a job that's very important, you get there on time, and you need an alarm clock to wake up. You definitely want a clock with a battery. If you really don't care if you wake up on time, and you just want a clock to tell you the time of day, and you're not, you don't worry about resetting it, then this clock is fine. All right, let me take you through the paces on this one. I'm going to turn the lights on. Bear with me. Like I said, she's just a regular clock radio. Set the time like any other clock. We'll set that to 2.06, set the alarm to 2.07, and how does this one work? We've got alarm, auto, auto, okay, let's put it to alarm, and on the side we've got tuning, AM, FM, and volume. So when that goes to 2.07, we should hear this thing buzz if everything's working correctly. So. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee, wait about 30 seconds, and let's see what happens. Funny, that was the exact amount of time it took me to pour a cup of coffee. Alright, the rest of it is just a typical, really bad sounding AM FM radio. There you have it. That is the Durabrand CR502 alarm clock radio. Bye.